one. All right, the recording has begun. Just make sure you're muted. And here we go. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the fifth grade edition of Math Madness. Uh, this is going to be, this is our rendition of the annual Math Bee, including both in-person and remote students. Uh, we are going to ask you all a series of questions. We're going to go over the rules. Please remember, having gotten this far in and of itself is an honor. It is, uh, it is an accomplishment to have been selected and to have made it this far. Your teachers made these decisions based on attendance, based on participation, based on continuous effort, based on how you've been improving over time with uh, all of the math work that you've done. And so without further ado, let's go ahead and get right into it, all right? I am your host, Mr. Borba. I am joined in the room by Ms. Lorenzano. Ms. Roman makes up the last leg of our B team. So uh, this is a collected effort among the three of us to be able to get everything into position. Let me get a thumbs up if everybody is ready. Let me take a quick look. Fantastic, good. All right, we're gonna go over all the rules. If anything needs clarification, you can just kind of raise a hand. I'm gonna try to keep my eyes on the screen. Uh, or you can also use the hand raising feature that is in Zoom. That's always kind of helpful too. All right, as always, please make sure that you got a pencil. Oh, okay, all right, Lisa, all right, see with a question. Talk to me, Lisa, what's going on? So are we going against each other? Like yeah, someone, the yep. In person oh. versus the virtual? So it is not, a, this is not a team effort. And in, in, in the interest of making sure that everybody kind of has equal footing here, this is not a team game. This is going to just be you against yourself and against everybody else. Uh, we'll go over how the rounds work in just a second. Everybody's going to get the questions at the same time. And then when you get the questions, you're going to go ahead and answer them, okay? All right, talk to me, Silver. What's going on? So how do you know, like, when we have our answers, do we just shout it out or do we wait for everyone to finish? And Sorry, Silver. I know I muted you a little early there. Uh, you are not going to shout it out. Again, all this stuff will be covered in the rules. Let's go through the rules before we ask any more questions, and then that way we can figure out uh, what we still need to clarify, okay? So just once again, you're going to answer questions with other members in your grade. This is not a team effort. It's not remote versus in-person. It's everybody for themselves. Uh, and the last person who remains will be named the winner. All right, let's go over the rules because I believe we have about six or seven rules. So let's take a look. Rule number one is to, you have to keep your camera. Students participating in the event must keep their camera on as long as they're in the competition. When you get eliminated, we will turn your camera off just in the interest of keeping it moving is not to be like a clean break or anything like that. The reason we're doing it is just to make sure that we can kind of keep the event rolling so that we can be done in a reasonable amount of time. All right. Question, uh, rule number two is all work must be completed with a pencil and paper, right? So as I see, Lisa has her pencil and paper. Everybody, make sure you have more than one sheet. The reason is I would recommend, and just in your interest, do every problem on its own sheet or its own side of a sheet. The reason being that if you do it all on one sheet and you're circling answers and we're trying to figure out what's what, it makes it a little bit more confusing for us. So we don't want there to be any question around what it is that you are answering or the answer that you are giving. Okay. Uh, rule number three, unless otherwise announced, you will have one minute to answer each question. You must circle and show your final answer when Mr. Borber requests it. So Ms. Lorenzano helps us out as timekeeper. Uh, sometimes in the event that a question appears to be multi-step, uh, or more complicated than some of the ones that we'll ask, you'll get an additional minute. You will know because we'll announce that ahead of time. It won't be a surprise. For the most part, we will do one minute per question. All right. And when the minute is up, we will let you know. You'll see uh, my screen typically change back. My screen will change to, let me just give you an idea. You'll know, you'll know the time the session is over because my screen will probably go to this, right? When my screen goes to this, it means that we're going to be fielding answers. As far as how answers are going to be given, you are going to take your paper and put it up to the camera with your circled answer, right? The answer has to be circled. If the answer is not circled, we can't qualify it. We've had to have some heartbreaking moments so far where people got eliminated because they didn't follow the simple rules. 
Do not show your answer early. That's going to count as a false start or, or, or jumping ahead, and we're going to have to disqualify that because it invalidates the question. So please do not show your answers early. Wait for us to say something. And then when we're showing it, please just make sure that you are showing where where what it is that we're looking for as far as the answer with the circled number or whatever the value is that we need. Um, I will say pencils down and just to make sure that we know pencils are down, just make sure I can like kind of see your hands, if, even if they're just kind of clasped like that. We don't need to do hands up. That's kind of weird. You can just kind of like have your hands together here. Just make sure I know your pencils are down. I don't want to see somebody scribbling away. Please make sure you're in view as much as possible in the camera because if you're not in view, it makes it kind of suspicious for us, right? If somebody's like, oh, I got to go do something in the middle of a question, it's like, Come on now. All right. I can see everybody here. We're in good shape. All right. That's good. Let's keep it that way. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Okay. Next. Oh, I don't have enough screens. I need a fourth screen. Um, all right. There we go. Question, rule number four, you must show your work for the answers you submit. We are not going to check every single item on your paper. But if you show us an answer and you circle it and you say, I did it in my head, that doesn't work for us. Somebody got eliminated because they got the right answer, but it was the only thing on their paper. Even if it's just the equation you used, even if it's just how it is that you got to the number in your head, please make sure the work is there. Remember, we're all working with the same time limits. This is not a race. And so you're only racing against the clock as far as being able to finish in the time we give you. It is not like the person who gets it done first gets to walk away with the prize. We don't do it like that. Rule number five is that if you answer a question correctly, you advance to the next round. If you answer a question incorrectly, you are eliminated from the competition unless everyone in a round answers incorrectly. So even if one person answers correctly and everybody else answers incorrectly, we've had that happen where four people went down to one winner because only one person got it right out of four people. If that happens, the competition is over. If in the first question, one person gets it right and seven people get it wrong, the, question, the, the competition is over. So please make sure that you do your very best to answer accurately and clearly, okay? Now, 5A, in addition to this rule, if all students in a round answer a question incorrectly, then everybody moves on to the next round. So if a question is so hard that everybody gets it wrong, everybody just sticks around and we go to the next question, okay? Rule number six, and this is the last rule, is please remember to enjoy yourself. Be proud of the fact that you made it this far because it is a big accomplishment. And we do want to remember that this is meant to be fun, right? There is nothing, we're not giving away anything big here. You will get kind of honored with having been the, the winner for your group, but we're not trying to like create a situation where there's something really big at stake. We want this to be just sort of a way to kind of like get, get a little bit of competitive spirit going uh, around some of the subjects that we've been studying, okay? With that being said, are there any questions about any of these rules before we move on? Are we good? Are we ready? Oh, Silver, I see the hand up. All right, Silver, quickly. I think if, I what if someone has to go to the bathroom, what will happen? Let's say that's let's try not to have that happen. Let's try to let's let's try to stick around because there's only like we're, we we max out at about I think in this case 14 questions for grade five, so um you can let's hope that we make it as far as that right, let's just keep it at that, okay. So with that being said, let's begin. Okay, are you ready? If I need to move my head out of the way, I might move my head around, or I'll do like one of these just to kind of get out of the way of the problem. Uh, for the most part, I shouldn't be in the way of what you guys are trying to do. Pencil and paper ready. First question is going to be coming around right now. Fantastic. I see that we're ready. All right. Without further ado, question number one. Oh, sorry. I'm gonna, let's turn that. Let's make that on silent. I don't want to get bothered. Question one, Megan has $45.12 in her purse. She spends $7.89 for lunch and $21.25 for a pair of sunglasses. How much money does Megan have left? One minute starting now.
would you say? Oh, that's why it's 14. Okay. Pencils down. That is one minute on the clock right there. Circle that answer. Pencils down. Let me see hands together like this, like you're thinking hard, like somebody's saying something. You're like, hmm, and you're thinking it over, and you got a lot going on in the mind. Perfect. Great. All right. So with that being said, let me just do a quick switch here. Let me fade that over. All right. The answer to question one, please. Let us please see the answers to question one on the screen. On the screen. Take your paper and let me see something. Take your paper and bring it up. Please bring it close. Please bring it close. Please bring it close. Please make sure you circle the answer that you gave me. All right, again. Okay, all right, so let me see who else. Show me something. No writing, nothing. All right, all good, just show me, show me. Kair, neither. Just pick up something. Show me something. Everybody show me something. Uh-huh. 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 All right, ladies and gentlemen, it looks like we're moving on. Yeah, that's what it looks like. I mean, if you take a look here, pretty sure. I mean, this is like the closest here. Um, it looks like we're moving on. Okay. What about Amari? Amari, no, Amari, show me. Amari, I don't believe has a, you don't have a finished answer, right? Okay. So the answer... Yeah, that's right. So you you don't have one. You don't have a finished answer either. So now, yeah, okay. Um, oh, sorry guys. I'm gonna make it. So, well, I guess fifth grade. You guys are doing all right. I'll make it that you can unmute yourself. I'm gonna keep it that way. Let's not abuse that privilege. All right. You guys are doing a good job of muting and unmuting. So we move on because nobody got that question right. Um, the answer was fifteen dollars and ninety eight cents. Right. The closest answer we got was sixteen dollars. <laughs> That was, that was the closest we got. Unfortunately, though, we needed the uh, absolute answer in this case. Okay? So we move on to question two. All right? Good stuff. We move on to question two. I'm going to lower that hand down. Kashmir, do you have another question, or you just had your hand up because of that? I had okay. it up because I was saying how I didn't have time. No problem. All right. Much appreciated. All right? So we're going to get the next question ready. Everybody get your pencil and paper ready, please. Get your pencil and paper ready before I show off the question. Pencil and paper ready, please. Um, you know what? I got to put my hat on. I can't sit here. and My hair's driving me crazy. Sorry, guys. Give me a second. No, it's it's fine to you. It's not fine to me. It's all it's it's frustrating. Okay, there we go. All right. Um, question number two. Pencils and paper ready. We're gonna do once again. We're gonna do. Maybe let's do ninety seconds. Seems like fifth grade could use a couple more seconds. Let's do 90 seconds. We'll do a minute and 30 seconds, all right? So Ms. Lorenzano is going to get the timer started. What is one-tenth of 209? What is one-tenth of 209? That's 90 seconds on the clock starting now.
Ladies and gentlemen, pencils, please put pencils down, hands folded, pencils down, hands folded. All right, we're going to bring that back around. Again, don't worry about telling me if you don't have an answer. If you just show me your paper and nothing is circled, we just figure that kind of like that is what it is. Um, question two. All right, at this point in time, we're going to ask that you please reveal answers. What is one tenth of 209? Let's see some answers. Let's see some answers. Show me some answers, please. Show me circled answers, please. Show me circled answers. Going to get some clarification here. Thank you. Show me some answers, please. Uh, Dakari, bring your paper a little bit closer for the answer that I'm looking at. Again, I need to see the answer. Okay. Um, what is my circled answer? Lisa, I'm looking for... Um, I okay. couldn't really... I was kind of confused, so I did the division, but I forgot okay. to add the remainder. Okay. So. Got it. Kashmir, what about you? What you know, anything on hand to show me? Okay. You can still show me whatever. Don't worry, you guys. Please keep the papers up. Please keep the papers up for a second. Um, Omari, show me. The, uh, I need you to lift it up a little bit. I think I have. So I do need to consult with uh, Lorenzano real quick. Are you seeing this one here? What are you doing? What are we doing about this? It's 20 remainder nine. How are you, how you holding that? What's the story with that one? Technically, it's correct, right? Yeah. All right, we're down to two people, it looks like. I think we're down to two people. We are down to... Lisa, show me... Lisa didn't... Lisa said she got a little confused when she was finishing up, so we don't have a circled answer. And I think if I saw... I saw like a string of added up fractions for Dakari. Um, I know I saw this, Kair and Ibrahim, and we both have that same... Omari, I was a, had a different result. So, Omari, throw yours back up again, real quick, just so we can see what you had there. Yeah. So, that's going to put us with. All right. So, we're down to two people. We are down to Silver and Sanaya. Ladies and gentlemen, we are appreciative of everybody. Give it up for yourself. Give it up for yourself. Give it up for yourself. Give it up. Give it up. I know that we're in question two here. Pat yourself on the back. Quick reminder, right? Like, this is, uh, it's, 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 it is what it is, and we're going to keep on moving. Silver and Sanaya, you two are going to be the two that move on. All right, so thank you, Omari. Thank you, Kashmir. Thank you, Kair. Thank you, Ibrahima. Thank you, Dakari. Thank you, Lisa. Who would I miss? I don't think I missed anybody. All right, so what I'm going to do right now, I am going to start to turn some videos off. I also am going to make it just so that, uh, okay, oh, you guys got most of that. Sanaya and Silver, please don't go anywhere. You are welcome at this point to stick around if you want to keep just doing it on your own or you're welcome to go back to class. Um, that's for the remote group. If you want to stick around, by all means, you can stick around. And then after the recording, we can just kind of like say, you know, wrap things up. Um, Dakari, I'm going to drop your video. Sorry, hold up. Stop video. And then, oh no, I don't need to rename. Stop video. Good. And then, Kair, I'm going to do the last thing for you. All right. Which leaves us with... Silver and Sanaya, Silver and Sanaya. All right. Um, since we are down to you two, I think I'm going to. We're going to create a. We're going to add a spotlight. No, we're going to keep it just like that. We're going to keep it just like that. All right. So I'm going to get question three set up. Please have your paper ready. Again, please make sure that you try to use just sort of a clean sheet, just so that since so long as you got paper to spare. All right, question three is going to be coming up in a second. We're down to you two. And here we go. Okay, question number three. A baseball team has $1,400 to buy baseball uniforms. Each uniform costs $124. How many uniforms can the team buy? Okay, how many uniforms can the team buy? Sanaya asked quickly, what's going on? How many... Um baseball players are there just tells us each how much each uniform costs and how much the total is so that's yeah i think that's actually you don't need to know that a baseball team has 1400 to buy baseball uniforms each uniform costs 124 dollars. how many uniforms can the team buy knowing that much information you don't need to know about how many players are on a team because uh, everything you need to know is baked into the problem right you know what i'm saying yeah you don't need to know you're okay. 
use the use the use all the information you have here and then yeah go ahead let's start it nine oh what'd you do 90 seconds is yeah 90 seconds let's do it Ladies and gentlemen, the timer's gone off. That is 90 seconds. That is 90 seconds. Pencils down, please. Pencils down. Pencils down. Make sure that answer is circled. Pencils down. Okay, right. Um, right, so a baseball team has $1,400 to buy baseball uniforms. Each uniform costs $124. How many uniforms can the team buy? Please show me your answers. Okay. I didn't get an answer. Okay, so I do have to talk... Let me see. Okay, I got to talk to Mel. So, Mel, are we looking for a whole... Ms. Lorenzano, are we looking for a whole number here? So, you see what I'm looking at here? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How do you want to manage that? Well, it is. Yeah, that's how I feel as well. So, Sanaya, just to clarify... Okay, yeah. So, Sanaya, you, uh, the answer that you have given is correct, right? The math there is correct. Um, now granted, obviously you can't use a remainder to buy uniforms, but the answer is 11 with the remaining money that is shown there. So Sanaya, that means, uh, as of question three, that makes Sanaya our math B winner. So let's give it up. 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 Silver. Awesome job. Way to go ladies in this last round here. Um, all right, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to, I'm going to just turn off your camera for just a moment. All right. We're going to do the winner screen properly. Okay. So don't go anywhere. We're going to add you to the spotlight real quick. Also, just, uh, just for those of you that are still around, it looks like almost everybody's here for the most part. I realized we didn't review the answer for number two. We were looking for 20.9, 20, 20 and nine tenths or 20 yeah, remainder nine, nine. Right. Yeah. Well, okay. Time, we didn't have enough time. So they added 90 seconds. Okay, so we have, <laughs> so real quick, hold on a sec. Let me get my screen ready so we can do this properly. So we can make sure that we do uh, the, 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 full, the full effect here. Uh, hold on. And the winner is uh, Sanaya, Sanaya, Sanaya. You're our winner from grade five, group D. So way to go. Uh oh, that's not right. That's we don't need that. Okay. Well, that's so that's the song we're using here. Right? That's our uh, we're gonna use that as our exit song once again. So let me just go ahead and play that real quick. Oh. Whoa, 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 whoa. We're gonna bring that back. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, that marks the end of our session here. Sanaya, way to go. You get to go back to class telling everybody that uh, a grade five group D student has taken the final. Uh, the final prize. Thank you to everybody that competed today. Uh, we hope you had a good time. And uh, yeah, stay tuned for the release of the video where we'll have a cameo from everybody involved. And yeah, we get to we get to announce the winner. So yeah, there's Ms. Lorenzano's thumbs up. And uh, yeah, thanks so much.
Bye, Sanaya. Oh, is there anything you want to say before you go? No. No. You said everything you need to say. All right. Fantastic. Then with that being said, we are going to stop the recording right here. Okay. Cool. Wait. Yes. Do you want to?